Good morning, good morning, good morning, fam. It's Monday. Yay, it's Monday. Did you wake up this morning and say, yay, it's Monday? Not, oh God, it's Monday. Okay, we got to change our attitude. We got to be excited about Monday because God chose to wake us up this morning and give us another day to give him glory. So we want to thank him for that. So good morning, everybody. It's time for another video. And we are still on our series of, um, you know, still on our series of uh, steps to build our self-confidence. I just got my workout in. I got my four miles in. I got 707 calories burned and I'm feeling pretty good about my workout. Still trying to maintain what I've obtained. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we're going on day four today of uh, steps to build our self-confidence. And so every day we want to review on those three because we want to make sure that you guys are not just listening, but you're actually practicing the steps and you're doing the things, not just hearing the word, but doing Doing the word and doing those things that's going to take you to those to that next level and higher level of self confidence and maintaining your self confidence. So, step one or key one was to stop worrying about other people's opinions of you. How are y'all doing on that? Are you have you thought about you know opinions, negative things that people have said about you that you've allowed to linger in your mind and capture your thoughts and allow you to lose your self confidence or lose your self image or your self worth or your uh, self in anything? Well, then we want to capture that, and we talked about writing down our negative thoughts. You know, so we can keep track of how frequent those negative thoughts come. And so we can have a wisdom strategy to uh, bury those negative thoughts by using the word. We're still going to use the word as our final authority. This is what we're all going to make all our decisions by is that word. So stop worrying about other people's opinions of you. And then the second key was to focus on your strengths. Did you write your strengths down? Okay, if you're having trouble writing your strengths down or identifying what your strengths are, then uh, ask the people around you, like, what do people compliment you on all the time? That is typically your strength. You know, when you're at work, what do people say that you're really, really good at? Typically, that's your strength. So sometimes when you can't identify what you're really, really good at, what are the people around you saying? And what is the consistent thing that people are saying? And that is typically your strengths. Because typically with strengths, because you do it without even thinking about it, because it's something that's natural for you, you don't even recognize it as a strength, but everybody else around you recognize it. So focus on those strengths because that's going to help build and maintain your self-confidence. And then when those hard times come or those negative thoughts come, you know, we're going to be so strong in our strengths that we're going to be able to really quickly and uh, swiftly throw those negative thoughts to the wayside. And then the third thing we talked about yesterday was to tackle your fears. Okay, we got to tackle our fears because it's those fears that stand in the way really of us reaching that phenomenal plateau that God wants us to reach. So did you get your box? I got my box. Okay. And guess what? I got some things in that box. So I got some fears that I need to tackle. And remember we said that we were going to tackle a fear every day. So one of the things that I wrote in this box, I'm actually going to tackle that fear tackle one of those fears today. I'm going to do that thing today or make that phone call today so that I can tackle my fears on a regular day and I want you to do it too. So did you write your fears down? Huh? Did you put them in a box or did you put them in something so that you can tackle those one that one fear every day and that's the key three. So now we're at day four and key four and the key four is treat yourself like a friend. Treat yourself like a best friend, okay? So when it comes to building your self-confidence and maintaining your self-confidence, how would your best friend treat you? How would your best, what would your best friend say to you if you were struggling with something? So if you say it to yourself, <clears throat> I don't think I, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't think I can do that. Would your best friend say that to you? Or would your best friend's like, girl, you better get up. You better get up. You know you can do it. You know you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. That best friend would always give you encouragement. That best friend would not knock you down. That best friend would not let you linger thoughts in your head and say things over and over and over to kill your self-esteem or to kill your self-confidence. So you have to treat yourself as your best friend. So let's go to the Word and see what the Word of God says about friend. In Proverbs 18... 24. The word says, a man that have friends must show himself friendly. And there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. 
okay? That friend that I have that sticks closer than a brother to me is my girlfriend, Vinny. She has been my bestie, bestie friend for over 25 years. So if we got 25 years of friendship in, then you know we didn't build that overnight. But what I can tell you is that she has been with me through the best of times, through the worst of times. She has celebrated my best times with me and she has pulled me out of the pit when I have gone through some really, really rough times in life. And you know, a friendship or friend is one of the sweetest things in life that you can have. You know, they cheer us up through those discouraging seasons that we have in our life, but they also celebrate us on those joyous occasions. Um, so they lift our head, you know, when we're down and you know, they're there to celebrate those great times with us and just to add value and uh, add just so much more joy to our lives. So you got to treat your yourself as your best friend and that's how you build your self-confidence my girlfriend Vinny I can tell you about so many different times and moments that she have saved me and helped build my self-confidence uh, and treated me better than myself at sometimes you know I remember uh, one year uh, when she was still living in Chicago she always wanted to get out of the the, the the bad winters that Chicago would have so every winter we would plan a trip to go somewhere where the weather was warm and so one particular year I think it was like 24 2014, 2015, um, we had planned to go to Miami for New Year's to escape, you know, the winter and escape, you know, uh, the bad weather. And uh, but both of us had gained some weight, right? And I was just like, girl, I can't wear no bikini, you know, I've gained so much weight. And I was just, you know, going on and on and on about how bad I was feeling and how fat I was or whatever. Not once did she say, you know what, you're right, you are fat. You, we don't need to go on the trip. She was like, girl, let me tell you what we about to do. We still going on this trip. And we're going to get us some leggings and some loose, cute shirts. And we still going to go to Miami and have a good time. And that's exactly what we did. You know, no, we didn't have bikinis that year. But we had our leggings. We had our little cute loose tops. And we still had a good time. We still got our flirt on. And we still got flirted at. Okay? So, that is what a friend does for you. A friend does not demean you. A friend does not bring you down. A friend lifts you up. So, treat yourself as your best friend even when you're in those hard times and you say things to yourself like if I want to go to Benny and I would say you know I'm going through another breakup maybe I'm just not good at relationships she will turn that situation around so quick and say now wait a minute do I need to preach to the choir here what did you tell me when I was going through a breakup you know what did God tell you about relationships did you forget what God said to you about and she reminds me of things that God has said to me about me being in a relationship about me being a life partner and she always brings me back up through those times so when you talk about building your self-confidence then you have to treat yourself as a best friend how would your best friend treat you then that's how you should treat you and that's key for day four on building your self-confidence is treat yourself like your best friend and that is the tip for the day. So have a great Monday, a great week, and I shall see you on the next video. I love you. How about that? Mm -hmm.